Yeah, you were saying that it, you've seen patterns, right? When economies emerge from COVID, you usually see about 12 months of, of elevated activity. You mentioned the service sector. Like, we're not quite seeing that in China. Is it a sort of yeah. different sort of reopening story that you're seeing in the mainland? Mm. I think you kind of are seeing it, but the rules that we've learned from how both DM and EM emerge is that it doesn't really touch manufacturing sectors. It's a very consumption-centric rebound, and it's more that you buy the stuff that you couldn't buy during lockdown. So within those limits, I don't see anything broken in China's recovery, but it's probably not broad enough to really excite financial markets. And there's also a bit of policy paralysis. So I think until we get some clarity on how the reopening looks, you're going to see policymakers cautious. And uh, local money doesn't like a lack of policy direction. Right. Um, so is it simply then, Eric, just a matter of waiting then? Let's just give this some time to, to simmer uh, and, and really see how this economy, I mean, it's barely been six months really since they've reopened in China. Yep, it's, it's, we're five months into a process that might take more than a year to fully complete. The problem, I think, is that most investors understand that it is a one-off. Um, so if you're mm. worried about the structural stuff, if you're worried about US-China tension, or you're worried about the demographics, or you're worried about over-control of the internet sector, none of those issues are helped by the reopening process. So I think that that has left uh, Non-Asian investors perhaps on the sidelines, reluctant to participate, and that has pushed more of the importance onto local money. And as I say, local money historically has made money buying policy themes. So the real thing we're looking for here is some policy clarity to emerge, which might take until about September, October of this year. Right, Eric, to your point, I think we've seen things like themes like AI, the state-owned enterprises go along on, on that theme. Uh, just on China then, a lot of debt was built up during the lockdowns and the pandemic. And to your point, we're back focused on debt right now. Local governments, for example, they're not exactly in the best sort of fiscal sort of conditions. Mm -hmm. uh, should we be worried? Are you worried about the debt situation in China? And can they deal with that? I think it can be dealt with as a debt risk, but it's definitely making policy more conservative. I mean, you had on a broadly measured deficit the general government deficit in China is 13.5% of GDP. Um, that's a big number, and you're right, it did go up in 2022 by about 3.5 points of GDP compared with 2021. So that reinforces my view that policymakers will wait until the dust settles through the reopening process before they really decide just how much stimulus the economy needs and how to set the growth outlook for the next few years.